Alright guys, so Aiku's so-called supercomputing chip Q3 apparently introduces ray tracing in Kenshin Impact. So let's test it. It also allows frame interpolation for 120fps gameplay and we will compare that with the OnePlus 15's 120fps frame interpolation as well. So what kind of ray tracing does the ray tracing mode enable? Is it shadows, reflection, ambient occlusion? It's not mentioned. It's certainly not ray trace reflection. Because here you can see in the standard mode, the dinosaur's reflection is only shown when the dinosaur is visible in the screen space, which is why this is called screen space reflection. If we enable ray trace reflection, then the reflection should be visible even when the dinosaur is not in the screen space. But as you can see here, even after enabling ray tracing, the reflection is still going away as the dinosaur goes off screen. Also a couple of times I have seen these weird reflections like check this out that bush down below is somehow getting reflected on the surface which is opposite to it at a higher level. I think this so called ray tracing mode fakes a type of ambient occlusion so there are these dark spots that appear where two objects meet so kind of like contact shadows. When it comes to power draw, there is a big difference. Ray tracing depends on the environment and can be a lot more demanding, like close to double the power consumption and even gets disabled if the temperatures touch 44 degrees centigrade. This is the classic ray tracing situation guys, huge penalty in power and performance with little difference in final image. Now when it comes to the 120fps frame interpolation, the OnePlus can do it in the max settings with highest render quality. On the Ico, you need to drop down to the high render quality. When it comes to the actual output, they are both very close. I feel the OnePlus feels a touch more responsive. Again, the difference is just too little, even if I slow down the footage by 4 times. Both devices provide a very smooth gameplay guys. Oh, and the FPS meter from C can't quite report the interpolated FPS on the ICO 15, so ignore that.
Oh, and on the OnePlus 15, I find that the phone suddenly locks up to a laggy state when the frame interpolation is active. And you do something like in the game, you go into some menu, you have to quickly disable and re-enable the hyper frame rate to fix it. OnePlus should check this and fix this ASAP. All right, that's it for this video guys. Just play Genshin Impact without ray tracing, enable the frame interpolation and have a good time. Make sure to like, share and subscribe, take care and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.